So last class, I think we uh, stopped in tort and crime difference, right? Yes, ma'am. So tort falls under which classification? Civil criminal. Uh, tort. Civil. Civil. Yes. So tort falls under civil classification and in civil, apart from torts, we have other different types of uh, civil wrongs as well. Like we have seen contracts like that. We have other civil wrongs as well. Yeah. Yeah. There are certain essentials of tort as in fine. You might have suffered loss. You might have suffered an injury. Another person mm. act or action, like we mentioned last class, it is wrongful act. How I'm not supposed to behave, I'm behaving in that way. Okay? Okay. Because of okay. your actions, you have suffered loss. But isn't that in every single case, you will be entitled to compensation? Or are there some conditions that you need to satisfy? Okay, that thing will be clear when we see the essentials of thought. Is it that every single act of mine which is causing you loss can you go to the court and claim compensation or not that we will see in essential soft okay when we talk about essentials there are three essentials that we need to satisfy only when hmm. we are satisfying these three conditions or these three elements we can actually claim for compensation or other different types of reliefs that are available in law of thoughts all right, first of all, we have act or omission on the part of defendant. If you are filing a case against me, I will be the defendant. There has to be some act or omission. So what is the difference between act or omission? Act is uh, the thing which I do. Uh, mm -hmm. Omission is uh, the act which I should supposed to do, but I didn't do. Yes, you had a duty to do it, but you failed to perform your duty. That is omission. perform it. Yeah. Correct. So it might either be an act. It might either be an omission. It may be a combination of some acts or omission, whatever that will be considered hmm. from the part hmm. of the defendant or the wrongdoer, whoever is behaving in a not so straight way, right? Crooked or uh, something like a twisted manner, that person from there and Secondly, we have such act or omission has caused legal damage. What is damage? Loss. Loss, correct. What is legal damage then? Uh, legal loss, like, uh, so while doing such, pro, such uh, I mean, while doing any certain thing, uh, which is uh, definitely going to happen, that loss, so that, that can't be a claim, something like that. Okay. Legal loss means damage, you are right. Damage means loss. What is legal? Hmm. Legal means a damage which is recognized by law. Like I mentioned, whether okay, okay. every single act of mine which is causing you loss, can you go to the court for every single act or not? You cannot go to the court for every single act. But for what can you okay. do? You can go for the losses that you have suffered, which are legally recognized. Law also recognizes okay. that, yes, in fact, your right is being affected. Okay? That is nothing okay. but legal damage. Like, take, for example, mostly you okay. see there are restrictions on playing loud music at night. But during daytime, yeah. like till 10 o'clock for most of the states, till 10 o'clock, some functions and, uh, you know, like festivals and stuff would be allowed. Right? You can mm -hmm. play music and stuff. So, Mm. If, take for example, you have a habit of sleeping at 7 p.m. at night. Usually people would sleep mm. around 10 o'clock. So that is the rule. Mm. If you have a mm. habit of sleeping at 7 p.m. And because mm. of those speakers or because of those sound, you are, it's creating disturbance for you. You are going to the court. Court might mm. not recognize that. Right. And in some mm. cases, we see there are some people who are like oversensitive. They cannot tolerate any sort of noise and other things. Mm. While mm. there are mm. other people who are like completely okay. That okay, fine. Even if there is sound, sound is going to be there because I'm living in a society. I will have to adjust a little bit. Right. So 
is it something that law recognizes or is it that the person is oversensitive is going to the court for every single matter for every single damage you will not be compensated yes court might acknowledge the fact that yes you have suffered loss there is monetary loss there is loss in profit whatever but it's not mm. legal damage it's not something which law recognizes okay is mm -hmm, it clear mm -hmm. yes ma'am so it's nothing but infringement of some legal right of the plaintiff as in law gives you some right if you are owner of a certain property you have a right to peaceful possession of that property in a way that right is being violated by playing loud music at night right so in a way we can hmm. say it's like violation of some legal right a right which is recognized by law for this what is legal damage to understand that we have these two maxims also injuria sine demnum demnum sine injuria we will understand that at a later stage okay mm. third essential that we have is legal re remedy it's not enough that okay i have done something wrong act or omission your legal right is affected what after your legal right is being affected law will provide you for some kind of relief might be you can go claim compensation you can ask for an injunction order right all these are nothing but legal remedies law is providing you for a remedy that yes you have suffered a loss this is what we can do at best for you right there has to be a legal remedy that is made available to you in such cases you can go to the court and it will be considered as a tort okay is it clear okay yes ma'am okay injunction order do you remember what is it yeah uh, to stop the thing whatever is happening hmm yes courts order i mean uh, courts order to stop violation yeah, yeah to stop something yeah. or to ask somebody to do something it might be positive or negative okay. also okay now okay. what are okay. these different essentials that we have first of all act or omission so in order to make a person liable in tort he must have done some act which he was not expected to do or he has omitted to do something where he was having a duty or a liability to perform it like in case of a doctor doctor is having a responsibility to inquire about previous medical history medical condition of a patient before mm. us starting an operation either a hmm. positive wrongful act or an omission which is illegally made will make the person liable so it's not that you should be doing something even your omission may make you liable under torts hmm. Hmm. for example a commits the act of trespass or publishes a statement defaming another person or wrongfully detains another person he will be made liable for trespass defamation false imprisonment as the case might be so in such cases you are doing something or you have failed to do something you will be made liable or answerable there similarly where there is a legal duty to do some act and the person fails to perform the duty in such cases we make the person liable for omission he failed to hmm. do it so there was this case where if corporation which maintains a public park okay it is maintaining a public mm. park it's a, a very famous case a lot of times example of this case is given in lot of law exams okay so what happened mm. there was a corporation maintaining a public park fails to put proper fencing to keep children away from poisonous tree and the child plucks and eats fruits of the poisonous tree and dies corporation would be held liable for omission first of all it's a mm. public park you are the one who is maintaining it if you are allowing public to come there you should ensure proper safety if there is a poisonous tree first of all it should not even be there if it's there it should be properly fenced so that visitors cannot go near it cannot pluck the fruits or you know like consume it and the mm. it's so poisonous that the child died so it should not be mm. to that extent so this clearly indicates omission from their part mm. similarly we have another example mc ma'am one second yeah one second ma so uh, in this case uh, there was a case uh, filed on uh, glasgow corporation right mm -hmm. 
okay so is there anything like uh, when when the case is mentioned like this like dash was dash hmm. so is there any rule like first should be defendant then should be plaintiff or plaintiff should be first and then was us yeah yeah which you are marking now is there yes, any rule it, like that yes there is a rule generally what happens when we there are different stages of a case right starting it would go hmm. to the trial court in trial court it will always be plaintiff versus defendant defendant this okay this is the person who is suffering this is the one who has caused the loss okay so this okay. is the person who has suffered he is going to the court so his name would come first might be this okay. case is being filed okay plaintiff versus defendant or case is being filed just take an example okay case was being filed now defendant feels that why this case is even being filed against me i have not done anything wrong this person hmm. is filing this case unnecessarily unnecessarily he is wasting time of the court this is entirely hmm. wrong case in such a case the defendant might go to the court and he may file another case in the court okay, okay. he might file take okay. for example section 482 crpc he might say that this is entirely wrong stop this criminal proceeding their their positions change same ways at the stage of appeal review revision so many other proceedings their positions change so the case was initially filed by this against the corporation but might be at the stage of appeal their positions uh, have changed changed okay very good information thank you ma'am yes ma'am continue next another very famous case and that explains this act or omission thing properly is mcd versus sobhagyavati 1966 case what happened here mm. is there was a clock tower okay clock tower you mm. know right yes ma'am yes ma'am there was a clock tower in charni chowk area of delhi now it's a very busy mm. area we all know and this clock tower mm. was maintained by ncd municipal corporation of delhi was maintaining it they had placed it there they were they were having the sole responsibility of maintaining it now mm. these kind of things will have a life of it right it's not that it is going to remain there forever so normal mm. lifetime of such clock towers is like 40 to 50 years and this mm. specific clock tower was there since 80 years since 80 years okay. it was like it was like 80 years old and this clock tower was there in charni chowk area and mm. what happened is this clock tower it collapsed and as a result of that a uh, number of people died because of it as it was mm. a very busy area so mm. this clearly indicates negligence right so in this case supreme court held that municipal corporation of delhi was responsible for this negligent act they were having a duty to ensure that they are doing the maintenance they are replacing it and stuff they failed to perform their duty there was an hmm. omission so the case is relevant for elements also for negligence also you have a topic negligence there is a topic called res ipsa liquidator it's relevant for a lot of different topics so you can remember it it was duty of mcd hmm. to maintain and look after the clock tower and it failed to perform its duty so court said that yeah because of omission it's a tort and you are responsible in that case okay this is hmm. what act or ma'am and the previous hmm. okay the pre the previous case was also the municipal corporation was sorry not that one sorry yeah this uh, is which a, one was that like, the glasgow corporation was yeah correct correct the Gla the glasgow corporation was a staler that is also uh, comes under omission only no act yes, not correct. act because they yeah. failed to make a fence around the yes yeah, okay okay, okay, okay now legal damage as an element of tort if you want to give any example for act any other topic that we will be studying right from there you can pick any case because all of those mostly are like acts only right doing something you will get many examples okay that also next is okay. legal damage as an element of tort so legal damage as in you have suffered mm. loss that is something which is recognized law also says that yes you have suffered recognized your right is being violated mm -hmm. in order to institute mm. a successful action for tort it's essential that the plaintiff for the plaintiff to prove mm. that 
uh, there has been a legal damage that is caused to him. So once you are filing a case, court is not going to believe you straight away. You need to prove that, yes, this is what has happened. That is the general rule. There are some exceptions. But as a general rule, if you are complaining about something, you need to prove it before the court. Unless and until the act or omission has resulted in violation of legal right, there can be no action under law of tort. You need to prove that, yes, it's not just act or omission, it has violated my legal right. right? It's not that you need to suffer some loss like physical injury, mental injury, financial injury, not like that, but your right has to be violated. Mm -hmm. Like simply entering mm -hmm. someone else's private property is also considered as a tort trespass mm. even though my mm. view you have not caused any harm to the person but still mm. because what you have done you have violated legal right of that person mm. Mm -hmm. where there has been violation of legal right the same is actionable whether as a result of the same the plaintiff has suffered any loss or not does not matter whether any physical, mental, emotional, financial whatever injury is caused or not what is important is violation of legal right that is enough so to test whether the defendant should or should not be held liable it is enough to see whether legal right that was given that was vested to the plaintiff right which was given to the plaintiff that has been violated or not we need to see that and that is enough Violate um, i didn't understand this point okay so in order to know whether I have done something okay you are going to the court okay now to understand okay. whether i'm responsible for a tort or not what we need to see is hmm. whether the defendant should or should not be held liable if my act or omission for that i should hmm. be answerable or not i should be liable or not is it a tort or not to understand that what we need to see is it is enough to see we just need to see if legal rights vested in the plaintiff legal right mm. the rights which law has mm. given to you vested in the plaintiff given to you or the plaintiff has been violated or not whether my act or omission has violated your mm. legal right or not just we need to see that if your legal right mm -hmm. is violated it is a thought does not matter whether you have suffered any actual loss harm or not mm -hmm. okay okay is it clear Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Violation of legal right and loss caused to the plaintiff can be understood with the help of these two maxims: injuria sine demno, demnum sine injuria. So hmm. these two are completely opposite of each other. What does this mean? You can simply remember meaning of these three words, and you will be able to remember the entire maxim. Demnum means okay. damage or loss. This damage or loss may be in terms of money, comfort, health, etc. Okay, whatever is the different type, it may be some kind of damage or loss that a person has suffered. Sine means without, as in damage or loss you have suffered, but it is without. Without what? Without injuria. Injuria means infringement of right conferred by law um, that means yes in terms of money in terms of comfort in terms of health or in terms of something you have suffered some loss as in you have suffered some actual loss that you can show to the court might be there is some okay. injury that you have suffered but mm. what is it it is without it is without mm. infringement of right conferred by law as in your legal right has not been violated but you have actually suffered some loss that you can show before the court that this is the injury i have suffered this is the financial loss i have suffered this is the discomfort mm. i have suffered you can show that mm. but your legal right is not being violated yeah. okay is it clear mm -hmm. yes yes ma'am yes ma so what do you so but still can, like <coughs> yeah can we go to the court or not in this case uh, that's what i was about to ask ma'am so uh... Now, uh, I don't, uh, I, 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 I have a loss, but that, that loss that doesn't come under my right. That is not breaking my right. Hmm. So, so there is a loss. So I can't, I, can I go to court? No, right? No. Yes. We can't no, go yes, to the no. court. 
because yeah yes, there might be multiple loss harm discomfort you might have suffered from from my actions for every single thing mm. you cannot go to the court you can go to the court only if it's violation of your legal right right that right. we need to satisfy these essentials legal damage mm-hmm. has to be there mm-hmm. if it's not legal damage does not matter how much loss you have suffered okay okay damnum sine injuria is a legal maxim which refers to damages without injury or damages in which there is no infringement of legal right your legal rights remain as it is your legal rights are not being affected or violated which are mm. vested with the plaintiff which are given to the plaintiff since mm. no legal right has been infringed no action lies you cannot go to the court and file a case saying that i need compensation this relief or that relief that is not available to you ma'am vested with the vested with the plan, plaintiff means <coughs> the plaintiff the rights the rights which is depending on uh, plaintiff vested right vested as in given okay vested given given not given to you so vested okay. with the plaintiff okay. the law has given you okay okay yes ma'am okay we have one case glossister grammar school case it's a very old case ma'am, it's a very famous case yeah ma'am while writing uh, uh, example like which are vested with the plaintiff if i write like the laws which are given to plaintiff or the yeah. law which has which plaintiff is having yeah, i can write in can. multiple yeah okay you can okay. write that no problem okay so we have this yes, very famous case what happened in this case is there was one school in a certain area okay so hmm. that school in that that was like the only school in that entire community hmm. so all the students hmm. used to go there and there was a teacher hmm. in that school who was having very like good reputation with the students students used to like him and everything now that teacher had some arguments with the uh, school authorities he left the school and what he did mm. is he opened a similar school same courses mm. same classes and everything he opened a similar school in the same area now previously okay. there was only one school all the students were going there but now a new school came up already this had like the teacher was having good reputation with students so what happened okay. is many students left the old school and they joined this newly opened school okay mm-hmm. as a result their students dropped to half after that in order to retain those remaining half the school authorities mm. had to reduce their tuition fee so that whoever mm. is there at least they remain with them as a result mm-hmm. they suffered heavy loss half of the students gone for remaining half also they had to reduce the fee so there was mm. loss right loss in terms of mm. money which they can prove and show in terms of numbers they went to the mm. court and they filed a case but court said that yes fine agreed you have suffered loss in terms of money in terms of profit but mm. is your legal right being violated if you have a right to open a school teach students similar right this other teacher is also having he has simply opened the school he is not stopping you from continuing your school right so as such mm. your legal right is not being violated you are still free to continue with your school yes there may be a rival school coming in we cannot stop that right so in this mm. particular case it was said that it falls under demnum sine injuria correct you have suffered loss in terms of money but it is without mm. violation of your legal right so you are not entitled to any sort of relief even though you have suffered loss okay mm-hmm. next one is completely opposite to the previous one same meaning mm. of the same words injuria means mm. infringement, infringement of rights which are conferred by law damnum means mm. damage or loss in terms of money comfort health etc sine means without that means yes mm. your legal right is being violated mm. but it is without damage mm. you can show that yes my right is being violated but you don't have any actual loss to show in front of the court you have not suffered any such mm. physical injury mental injury loss in terms of money comfort etc but your legal right is being violated Hmm. it is infringement of legal right where even if no loss has been suffered by the plaintiff still creates an actionable 
cause uh, actionable cause of action okay it still creates a cause of action we can simply write cause of action cause of action as in you have a reason to go to the court okay cause of action as in the reason why you are going to the court so even mm. though you have not suffered any actual loss still mm. because your legal mm. right is being violated you have a valid cause of action you can go to the court claiming that my legal right is being violated okay mm. Mm. for this we have this famous case ashby versus white what happened there is uh, have you given vote any time yes ma'am i have given yes you have given okay so yes, in that uh, the place where you would go there would be a lot of officers usually like government officers would be there right who just take care of the entire process <coughs> yes ma'am they monitor and everything right so yes ma'am from those all those different people who are there in the uh, place there is someone who is called as presiding officer Okay, mm. so there is a presiding officer so what happened in this case is that presiding officer he is like the main authority the, like the main person who is mm. in control of that entire vote, voting booth this uh, presiding officer or the returning officer he had some confusion okay one person came to give his vote and the presiding officer thought that this person is not an eligible voter there was some confusion mm. and he did not allow mm. this person to give his vote okay Now, when you are going to give your vote, definitely you would have some candidate in your mind, right? Most likely, you like someone. You want that person to win the election, so you are going there and giving your vote. Same yes, case, yes. Here also, what happened? Ashby wanted to give his vote to a specific candidate, and he was not allowed okay. to give his vote. Okay. After that, okay. when results were out, that particular candidate, anyways, won the election. it did not matter mm. as this one vote did not matter he anyways won the election so technically mm. ashb wanted to give vote to make this candidate the party which won yeah to okay. make this person win and he anyways won the election so as such okay. he has not suffered any loss his vote did not matter correct so this person went to the court saying that my legal right is being violated i have a right to vote that right is being violated so even though mm. it did not actually cause any loss the candidate anyways on the election it was recognized by court and he was given compensation in this case okay so why it was because his legal right was being violated does not matter whether you have suffered any damage or loss that mm-hmm. you can prove before the court mm. okay hmm ma'am uh, so if if uh, imagine i the same thing i went to vote but they didn't allow me to vote but i had a plan of voting to i mean as you said that candidate i had that uh, thing in my mind to vote that particular candidate and he will lose because of one vote hmm okay so hmm. now then this comes under uh, the previous one right what is no, that no it will not come under the previous one because your legal right was violated right you you were not given it does it it just says that it does not matter whether you suffered loss or not even if the candidate lost the election even if he won the election that thing does not matter what matters is your legal right was violated even if he had lost the election it would have fall under this thing only Okay, it basically says that it does not matter. What matters is your legal right is violated. That's all. Okay, so the loss is not counted. Yeah, loss is not. It just says that yeah, loss is there means it's well and good. If not there also, that is not going to affect. Yeah. What matters? No, the, 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 okay. 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 So he lost because of one vote only. That is my vote only. So hmm. do you think I can? so there is a loss there is a loss yeah. also there is yeah. there is a what to say a, 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 i mean a damage in my uh, right also i mean mm. my right also was not uh, mm. thing okay mm. so now this comes under injurious in dam dam no in case if that is the thing if this person yeah it would fall under injurious in dam no only because violation of legal right we need to give it priority it does not matter whether you have suffered loss not suffered loss does not matter what we should see is violation of legal right okay okay okay, okay. fine fine similar fine similar case we have bimsing uh, there is one more case which i have added later 
this also is relevant. So Bhim Singh versus state of Jammu and Kashmir. In this case, what happened is Bhim Singh was uh, an MLA and he wanted to, uh, MLA of Jammu and Kashmir, and he wanted to take part in the uh, legislative assembly, the proceedings. Okay, and while he was hmm. going there, Hmm. He was improperly captured by a cop. Like it hmm. was all planned and everything. He was arrested and then hmm. uh, he was con uh, controlled from going to the, he was not allowed to go and take part in the legislative assembly proceedings. And once the assembly hmm. was over, after that, he was like released. Okay, so hmm. he was not introduced before the judge within that 24 hours he needed to be produced. Those things were also not followed. Like everything was properly planned and all so that he cannot take part in the legislative assembly proceedings. In this hmm. particular case also, his right was being violated, right? He was an MLA, he has a right to take part in legislative assembly proceeding. That right was being violated. So court recognized that and he was given 50,000 compensation for violation of his fundamental right. Okay, encroachment of his fundamental right. His fundamental right was taken away. Being an MLA, okay. he has a right to take part. He was not allowed to do that. So this 50,000 was given by police only? The yeah. cop or the improv? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, so these are the differences we have. Damage or loss caused without any violation of legal right. And here, legal right is violated. Does not matter. There may mm. be harm, may not be harm. Does not matter. What matters is... Doesn't that. matter. Yeah, Got it. does not yes. matter. What matters is violation of legal mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. there is no relief available here legal relief is available Gloucester grammar school case Ashby versus white or wincing case now it might become confusing for you because both the things are like totally opposite of each other many times people get confused you need mm -hmm. to remember the case also you need to remember the maxim also so what you can do is you can remember it like Gloucester grammar school case i i think it's like there in your mind right Gloucester Grammar yes, School Yeah. So what you can remember is G, D, like group discussion we say, right? G, okay, okay. Gloucester Grammar School case, D for Demnum Sine Injuria. So Gloucester Grammar School case, once you remember, you will remember that, okay, no relief was given. There was loss, yes, yes. but no legal right. Okay. Entire thing you will remember. Okay, so that you don't okay, get confused. Okay. You can simply remember it like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. And the last one being legal remedy. So the act or omission mm. must give rise to legal remedy. It is based mm. on the maxim UB just EB remedium, which means when there is a right, there is a remedy. It's not that law will simply tell you that, okay, you have this right, that right, this right, take it. It's not enough mm. simply writing it because we tend to violate the laws, right? So what mm. happens whenever a right is given, Law will also provide for a remedy. Law will say that, okay, if somebody is violating this right, this punishment they will get, or this compensation, this relief he will get. Some or the other kind of remedy, law will provide for sure. And that is this maxim, you be just a be remedium. Law will simply not tell you this is your right, take it. Law will also provide you a remedy. What if your right is being violated? What can you do? Okay, mm -hmm. and that is nothing but legal remedy. Law has given you a remedy or a relief. What you can do in hmm. case it is being violated. Hmm. Therefore, if a right which is recognized by state is violated, then the state provides a remedy and the victim can seek, seek for such relief. You can go to the court and you can say, so-and-so right is being violated and I seek so-and-so relief and you can file the case. Okay, so these are the essentials. Hmm. Oh. Ma'am, uh, this this is this is just like that how that MLA was uh, improperly caught by cop and cop later paid fifty thousand. Hmm. So that is that the same thing, no legal remedy. Yeah, it is legal kind of. remedy. If your right is being okay. violated, you can claim for compensation, right? So that is a remedy or a relief. One, one of the, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and what kind of uh, damage? Uh, I'm once again. Yeah. One second, ma'am. Uh, so sorry. Uh, uh, what is this uh, maxim? You be just in the remedy. We have that concept. This is so we will study that in detail. You can simply remember it's just that. If you are being given now, okay. a right, 
you will be getting a remedy also law will simply not tell you okay this is your right right to education if that right uh-huh. is being violated what that also will be okay violated. okay uh, okay next topic is that only yes ma'am yeah. yeah so what kind of uh, damages are provided in case of tort there was one Ma'am? word i told you yesterday to remember what is the type of damages or compensation provided in tort uh which is not prefixed okay oh shit yes 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 which is not prefixed yes yeah hmm. remember the word yes ma'am yes ma'am which is not prefixed yeah but in contract it is yeah but there is a word right for that what is the word breach of duty no no for compensation which is not prefixed there is a certain ha huh. you 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 need liquidated unliquidated yeah unliquidated un, un, sorry unliquidated and liquid yeah yeah unliquidated yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey before we continue I wanted to inform you about my life mentorship program for LLB students or law aspirants law subjects and law topics need detailed clarity we get that with the help of cases examples and detailed explanation it's definitely not possible to include everything in this short videos if you find my videos easy to understand and you are looking for some professional help In preparing for your examination you can join my live mentorship program. Here you will be getting exam tips, answer writing skills, detailed notes that you can refer for your examination, cases, examples and in a very easy way topics will be explained. I have live classes going on for a lot of subjects as of now. To know more about it you can drop me a message on this WhatsApp number. I'm also helping a lot of students in writing their assignments. If you need any such help or for any queries any suggestions you can drop me a message on this WhatsApp number and now let's continue with our video